Today I want to show you Ludwig's new outfitter. This is the way that we can custom order drums. It was announced at NAMM in January of 2020. And when we got the announcement, we saw this kind of blueprint looking thing. And initially I was kind of excited thinking that maybe this would be a graphic configurator where you could click on the drums and it would build the set. But it is still just a, uh, an Excel spreadsheet. So let's take a look at that spreadsheet. And the first thing I want to show you is the previous spreadsheet with a custom configurator. This is the one I did a video on last year and this is what we've been using for quite some time. Um, it's obviously the, uh, a kind of confusing spreadsheet. Lots of options here. You know, what do I do? Do I put a number here? Do I put a, an X in here? You know, honestly, both of those things work. And then you had to work your way through here and kind of figure out what you were supposed to do. But the, the new one, and the file is just called Outfitter, is vastly simplified. So they've actually introduced some call outs to explain what we're supposed to do. So the first thing, before you can do anything else here, in fact, if I click here, you'll see I don't get anything from this menu. I have to pick this shell first because that determines what finishes are going to be available. So let's just go with classic maple for now. And now these finishes will populate and I can see all of the finishes that are available for classic maple. So let's do heritage green for this example. And then I'll be able to pick the badge and I'll go with the blue and olive badge to give it the kind of 70s look. Something new to this outfitter is the ability to add the Resicote spray inside of the drum. So if you want that white painted finish, that would kind of be cool. Let's do that here. So at this point, after I've selected my shell, the finish, the badge, and the interior finish, I then will pick the type of drum. And that's going to change what's available to us. And I'll show you that here in a moment. So let's start with our bass drum. And now that that's happened, you can see things are turning on down here. So unlike the old configurator where we saw everything, and this outfitter file only lights up when you've chosen those types of drums. So let's pick a size. I'm not going to be super picky here. Somebody I'm sure is watching and saying, oh no, that's the worst bass drum size. After picking the drum, then you will see the lugs that are available for that type of drum. So, oh, let's do mock lugs on this one. And then I need to tell the outfitter, do I want a bass drum mount? So if you want that version, you just say less mount, but I can put whatever mount I want. So we'll keep this one virgin for now. And now I would come in and I would start picking the toms that I want. So let's just do a nine by 13. Notice they are in a different order. They are going by the diameter of the head. So all the nine inch deep drums are not together. You have to move down a little bit to find that. And then we'll do the mock lugs as well. So of course here I can decide what kind of bracket I want, if any, on this. We'll put it on a snare stand. So we'll just leave that with no mounting bracket. And we'll do a 16 by 16 floor tom. So you can see the options for the floor tom. Again with the mock lugs. And here I can decide whether I want the classic brackets or if I want to do the, those, uh, the newer style triad brackets. Okay, <clears throat> so we've configured this. I'm going to do something a little different with the snare drum because I discovered uh, something unique with the snare drum. So if I click snare, there are a lot of different sizes available here. And there is a, a three and a half by 13 piccolo. So I, I want to show you this, and I know I might not typically buy a piccolo with this, but but the piccolo twin lug seems to be back. So previous, I, I just I got a three and a half by thirteen piccolo in the fall, and I could only do two lugs when I ordered that. So it looks like that old fashioned, that rectangular looking twin lug may be back. I haven't seen photos of it yet. Uh, but it would not surprise me to see that. And then, of course, with a piccolo, you can only pick that that strainer as well, the P80 piccolo strainer. 
there is another piccolo type drum that's a 14 inch head and it's four inches deep with eight lugs so here you can see all of the different sizes that are available it is interesting to note, at least with classic maple i cannot order a five and a half inch deep drum i wonder if i switch to one of the legacy series because that's what the jazz fest is that it would give me that option we can maybe circle back and look at that so we've done all that and now it's telling me here so if we scroll down this has already been done. So it used to be with the previous version of this, we had to come in and mark all this stuff. So Ludwig now has said, okay, here are the standard things. So it's gonna be a, you know, a, a matching hoop. Uh, does it, is it going to have an inlay, what have you, okay? So if I didn't want the matching hoop, and I said, oh, I do want an inlay, okay? So normally they would paint that because we picked that heritage green, so I'd probably get a heritage green hoop there. So I can say, all right, let's change it. Now it says, okay, well, we were going to give you a vintage white marine. So I can pick my inlay, and I think we probably can't go wrong with a silver sparkle. And of course, they are not alphabetical. They are by code. So if you're familiar with all of the codes, you would find it, there it is. So there's silver sparkle. For example, and here's now I'm in the bass drum. I can pick, do I want that classic looking curb spur that we saw in the 80s? So I'm not going to show you all of this, but that gives you an idea of what you can do. There is one other interesting feature here in that you can select the bearing edge. So by default, it's a single 45, but you can do a double 45 or around it on the classic maples. And you can also change the head. So by default, if we look at the Tom, we're getting a clear emperor. But if I click here, I can change it to, you know, coded ambassadors. And I cannot, in this case, change the resonant head. So that gives you an idea. You, you don't have to do anything that's in this area here. This is just if you want to change from the standard. But definitely look at the standard and see if it is, if it, kind of jives with what you want. Notice again on the bass drum, I can only get a power stroke three. I can't swap that out at the factory. If I want a different batter head on my bass drum, I have to do that myself. Okay, so let's experiment with one other thing because I had mentioned that five and a half inch deep jazz fest. So that's a legacy mahogany shell. Uh, notice that it's telling me now there is an error because they're not going to do that heritage green in that shell. So I'm going to come in here and we're going to pick a different finish. Let's go Silver Sparkle. And we'll switch it out here and tribute to my good buddy. I'm going to do the, the uh, well, we'll do, well, we'll go back to the cast brass. And <clears throat> I want the Resicode in here. Now, let's take a look at snare drums. Okay, notice I didn't have to change any of this other stuff. However, it is telling me now the piccolo is not available in the Legacy Mahogany. So it's throwing an NA. It doesn't have a part number for this. So if I click here, those piccolos disappear. The 4x14 is still here, but that 3.5x13 is gone. The 5.5x14 is not here. So that means a jazz festival can only be ordered in those stock finishes that Ludwig is offering. So I would pick my snare drum here. So I could even do an eight by 14 and I can change out and let's go with the Imperial lugs. Then I don't want the piccolo on there. We'll put the P86 on that would be great. Okay, again, I'm still seeing an error here. You wanna watch this spot. So there's a detail and it tells me this is invalid. So I cannot get that option for my hoop. So I'm just going to call it, uh, we'll just do a satin natural with the inlay. So that's all there is to it. It's very, very simple to, to do this. Uh, one thing I did when I ordered my classic maple, I did a smaller lug. I did the small classic lug on my eight by 10 Tom. So to give it kind of uh, that 70s look, that's what they did. So I did the mini classic on those two and then uh, the Starting with the nine by 13, I went with the large classic. And uh, that was just so more of the wrap would show. So you can still customize and, and change those lugs up on each individual drum. Couple of differences to point out. 
that is that they've streamlined this process tremendously but there are some losses I believe so if I switch back to the original one of the things that was interesting about this original configuration guide is that it had a page that had all, images of all the parts so it was easy to look at it and see what you were getting they've eliminated that and I, and I get it it makes the file a lot smaller but it does make it a little more difficult if you're not as familiar with what these part numbers are if you don't know the strainer numbers or what they're called it can be a, a little more difficult to figure those things out but basically you would just complete this send it off to your dealer and the dealer can convert this into a quote for you and then send that purchase order into Ludwig. So that's a look at the new Ludwig configurator, the outfitter as they're calling it now. I'll show you one last thing, which is where do I get to this? So in true Ludwig fashion, their website um, doesn't often keep up with the newest thing. So we always used to go to literature for some reason and find the custom order guide here and if I go there, this is still that old custom order guide, the one that was replaced. So to find the correct one, the new version, when you go into products and select drum kits, and I found the safest thing to do is go with Classic Oak since that's a new series, there's the correct link for the Ludwig Outfitter. I have been to this page before and clicked on this and sometimes it will tell me that it can't find the file. It is finding it now and it will download that Outfitter NP Excel file. So you will need Excel or a Google account that you can open it in Google Sheets if you don't have Excel. So that is a quick look at the new Ludwig Outfitter. Let me know if you have questions or leave comments in the comment area and I will try my best to answer any questions.